Hi, welcome to another episode from the Chart Readers. I'm gonna look at two of them on this one. I'm gonna make a second video after this, but I wanna take a look at Plug and Serve, okay? So Plug, I did not notice. This one was actually a viewer request, and man, I like what I am seeing here, all right? Clearly, I'm zoomed out like this for a reason, but there's a lot to like in this immediate, right? Um, looks like we might be trying to take out the 100 moving average, lovely divergence on the MACD and the RSI, and volume's been actually nice the last four days, let alone the last two, right? So serve, oh, this is this is looking nice. And one of the themes that I've been talking about, and really the next ticker is going to echo it as well, NASDAQ has been looking good and S&P 500 has been looking good. That to me tells me technology sh should be looking good, right? Like real quick, let's just look at, oops, not this one, what does CCU look like? This one's interesting. Ah, oh, volume's too low. We'll ignore that. Every now and then I pudgy fingers click the wrong thing and it, it gives us a ticker. Look, this is a nice NASDAQ. I've been saying I believe this is going to keep marching up to our golden all-time high line. That is all it has been doing. That's a lovely RSI. Volume is holding. I realize 71 is a little high, but hey, we've actually hit 88 right there. We hit 80 right there. We hit 80 right there. There's still some room for this thing to actually make a real attempt at this. So I am liking the NASDAQ. S&P 500 is still riding the eight moving average. And obviously, since this is tech specific, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to care more about NASDAQ, right? So I'm loving the indices around this. I'm loving the setup here. The exact same comments are for serve, okay? I am liking the setup here, all right? And it's funny, normally my golden resistance line is all the way up here at all time highs, right? But why is it right here? And again, oh, why is it right there? Huh. I think I might have forgotten on the last video too. Interesting. I have no idea why I colored that one gold. Regardless, it's actually been a pretty decent gold one. But um, yeah, I don't know why that one's gold. <laughs> Again, you would think I would practice these things before I hit record. But I think there's a real value to like seeing the natural thoughts, right? But nonetheless, the same comments, right? This is a nice MACD. This is a nice RSI. Volume is a real big story here. And I'm excited to talk about it. But hey, we're trying to get over all the moving averages on the daily. We're trying to get over on the weekly. Clearly, we're over. But again, we need to break it not just be over right so that'll be the theme here but i really like both of these ones to say the least all right but before we do go any further and i give you more of my thoughts and opinions what are we going to do same thing we always do right we'll take a look at the daily and the weekly to see how these things are setting up short term the, oh excuse me there are five moving averages i don't think i have any yeah i don't this isn't a ticker i really look at much but i will draw some horizontal support and resistance lines on this video and then when we are done up here we'll use the macd RSI and volume as our lower indicators. Hey, really quickly, if you can, please subscribe to this channel. Share this video online with your friends. Comment good or bad if you disagree. Look, anything you can do helps so, so much with these YouTube algorithms. But for real, just being here, giving me your time, oh, I'm so, so grateful for it, all right? So let's take a look at plug. And I think really this was give or take the view I was, let's just keep it to this, why not? This is a, this is a good view too, okay? So there are a lot of things that I like. I don't even know where to start, you know? What I mean but I think I'm gonna start up here because that is where I like to start let's just talk about today I know I just zoomed out like that but we got to zoom in zoom in and look at today's candle all right look in the box over there the close of the day was two dollars and 37 cents the high of the day the third line right there was two dollars and 37 cents I love it when people keep buying and buying and buying and buying into the market says hey get out of here we're closed that's it come back tomorrow if you want more you know what I mean and that's a good strong candle that is also a good strong Friday Friday candle, listen, I say it every single week. I assume Friday is gonna be a loser day. I wake up on Fridays expecting to see red candles and when I see a good big candle like this, when I see volume breaking the 50 day line, not only on a loser Friday, but then following up on a nice Monday confirmation, Oof, I love it, all right? Now, granted, I do believe this candle confirmed this right here, okay? The thing is, we now need one more confirmation, okay? We today got over the 100 moving average. I don't need to just be over, I need to believe I've broken it, right? I think this is our candle. I think two, 244 is too low, nah, we gotta go to here. I need at least 250. 
I need at least two dollars and fifty. Truth be told, I would yeah, two fifty is fine. You can see the candle I'm clicking on right here is a late July one. The close was two dollars and forty nine cents. Give me a penny over that. All right, that was a little bit of a gap down right there, and that was the last kind of good candle before it kept falling. Right, so I do think that that two fifty line is going to be pretty important. All even. Oh, I'm not going to draw it. I'm not going to draw it. But if you make me believe we've broken the hundred, the next thing I have to believe is we're going to go all the way up to the 200, right? Green, 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 even back here, red, 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 green, 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 red, 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 nothing, 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 nothing. There could be a real fast move all the way up here to basically two, let's call it 280. That's a little more than a 20% move right there, right? I'm basically adding 50 cents every 23 cents is 10%, right? So that's a nice 20% window right there, all right? But we need to believe that it's broken, all right? The one thing that I do like seeing is, hey, we've been battling this 100 moving average the last few months. We made an attempt but couldn't do it. We're battling but couldn't do it. Got over but couldn't confirm. That's a really interesting one-two candle right there. I for sure would have called this confirmation. You can argue that that 82 RSI was just a little too high and that's something I think that's worth keeping in our back pocket, but that's a lot lower of a 62 on this attempt, right? So hopefully we get the confirmation and continuation, but yeah, the last few months we've been battling this line and, and, and it seems like it's ready to, to battle and take it again, you know what I mean? So I'm, I'm really, really liking the short-term setup on plug. Um, this is an interesting weekly chart as well. Again, we just started the week. A lot can happen between Tuesday and Friday's close, but that's a nice candle. That's a nice candle, and I mean, it's one of the first ones in a good while where we've been over that 200 moving average line, right? And again, this one's kind of telling me if we make the move, there's a decent chance to go to three, which is pretty much echoing that 290, 280, whatever we were just talking about on the daily, right? So I like the daily and the weekly giving me similar thoughts. They each have a very, very difficult moving average to, to take out, okay? Um, I mentioned that I was going to draw some some horizontal supports and resistances, but I don't think there are too many. I think the one thing I would say, I think this is a, I think that's a good line right there. I like that line. That's half of that. It's almost the top of that. Let's zoom out if there's anything else. Not really, but I, I, I like this line. Look, I think as long as, you know what, you can even make the argument of going a little higher, but I'm okay with this one. I think as long as we're over $2.19, I think this thing is really bullish, okay? I'm seeing a golden cross. The eight moving average is going over the 20. It looks like the eight is gonna continue on up, right? So hopefully the eight will get over that 219 and hey, stay over the eight is, is always even better, right? But yeah, to me, I think as long as we're holding that, it's really good truth be told this thing should probably now have a really really strong support at two dollars and and five cents four cents whatever right this 50 moving average line you have two moving averages right there another one right there this seems like a good little strong point right here and you can kind of see it that 50 moving average it, it, it was a bounce and bounce and bounce and bounce till we finally took off right that right there wasn't really a loss and those right there were definitely not confirmations that's a bad candle doji don't count that's a bad candle that did not confirm right so the 50 was doing a lot and right now it's all about the 100 moving average battle but one more time, I like these lower indicators, right? MACD is positive. We have the green over red. RSI is a very healthy 64. We have the green over red. And again, volume has at least been the last couple days over the, the, the 50 day line. And really over the last couple, what, let's call it, three, six, seven, over the last seven days, four of the volume days have been good. And even this one might have. It did, look, you can see the volume was 36.5 near the bottom and the line was actually at 36.3. So three of the last four days were over the 50 day average line. And then again, four of the last seven days were basically right at it, right? So volume's been getting nice during this little uptrend. And again, there might be another 20% move right there if it breaks, all right? So I don't know if there's been any news here because there's actually been a nice uptrend since September. There's definitely something that saved it from this horrible downtrend. But hey, for all I know, is that just kind of mirroring NASDAQ? I think it is. Look at that, that exact same September 9th 
is when NASDAQ starts to make that beautiful uptrend coming off that ugly downtrend. That is exactly the thing that I just saw with Plug. Plug was coming down, coming down, September 9th, going up, going up, right? Maybe a little more horizontal right there, but nonetheless, this is why I started the video with it and I think I'll end it here. You gotta know how the indices look, right? The the NASDAQ is the technology ocean. If you're gonna get on a little, te a little tech boat called Plug, hey, the, the waves better be calm, right? I don't know if you watched Deadly as catch, but it gets crazy out there, right? So, um, yeah, NASDAQ looks good, S&P looks all right, and that makes me feel good with tech, right? Until something drastic happens and the lines tell me to think otherwise, that's gonna be my going thought, right? So, let me know your thoughts, let me know your opinions, even if you disagree. Let's come into the second and the last one on this video. I am liking the setup on serve right now, okay? I think the important thing to say is I still need more. We're in a little place of needing more confirmation, but um, I'm liking this here. I am, I love this channel, right? The, the, the channel between these two lines and ultimately these moving averages. And then really, I like the fact that there's not a lot of history here, all right? So um, yeah, really quickly, please, if you can subscribe, if you can share, oh, it'd be much appreciated. So um, I really don't know why this 840 line is, is yellow, and I'm actually gonna delete it. I think at this point, we have some good moving averages right here, and, and I don't think I need that line that much. And really, is this your IPO line? It's not, I think I can, oh, I can't. That's a big candle right there. I'll leave, I'll leave that line. I was gonna delete this one because obviously the 100 moving average is right there, but no, 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 that's an important line. So serve, I'm liking what's going on, but I for sure need a little bit more, okay? So a couple things are jumping out at me. Number one, it's this battle with the 50 moving average and more than anything, it's this battle with three moving averages, okay? So I say it often, when you have three of the five, that's obviously more than 50% of them, and, and you kind of get like lost in the lines. You go from the bottom to the top, to the bottom, to the top, to the bottom, to the top, to the bottom, to the top. You're almost thrown around in this tornado and seemingly not really in like the stock's control, if you know what I mean, right? Um, I ended the last ticker, and I'm gonna start it with this one. NASDAQ made a real nice recovery around September 9th. Downtrend, downtrend, downtrend. September 9th, we see a good uptick, right? We don't really see that with serve. You can make the argument that the downtrend ends on the 9th, but that that uptrend isn't anything drastic like that or even like that. Like that, that's that's flat, you know what I mean? But, and, and, and I think a lot of that has to do with those moving averages right there. It's just, it's hard to escape them. And look, we actually don't have five moving averages. On today's candle, if you look in the box over there, there is no 200. This is a this is a new stock. This has not been around for 200 days. So three of the four is a significant amount of moving averages to get stuck in, okay? What I'm really liking though is this belief that maybe we're starting to escape, all right? So when I, I'm clicking on this candle, because this one is the biggest one to the left, I know it doesn't look giant by any means, right? But when you zoom in, this one is the biggest to the left, and obviously we've already beaten this one, right? This candle right here closes at $10.10, the, the green line on top. We're over this. We are over the biggest candle to the left, okay? The next thing becomes, look at where we're at right now. We're also in this candle. All right, I'm starting to believe we're now in the green, green, green. Even this thing, all right, I know this is a red candle, but this actually, look in the box over there, this opens at 1018 and goes all the way up to this, what, 13 something close, right? So I legit would have loved it if it closed around 1018, the close of this. But to me, at least getting over the biggest candle to the left and being nicely in this green candle right here, that's actually a lot of the start of the green, green, green up, that's getting me excited, it is though, all right? The one thing I gotta say is this isn't enough confirmation just yet. Yes, sorry, Friday broke multiple moving averages. You can see we were down here, we were under the, the 50 and the eight, all of a sudden Friday we're over both. I need 
really good confirmation on a single break. I need substantially more on two or more. And yeah, that's a nice candle. It is. 8% is a good number. It really is. That's just not enough for me. So there's still a little hesitation going into tomorrow, but it does feel pretty good here. I think at this point, I'm actually looking for this to close around 1080 tomorrow. Okay, that's, that's, look, again, let me just zoom out real quick. Green, 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 red, green, red, 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 and then pretty much nothing. Like this is the, the next real candle that's green coming up. And it's not even worth drawing a line on it. You know what I mean? But it seems like this thing wants to go to 1080. And truth be told, if 1080 can't stop it, it might make the run to that 1212 right there. Okay, I think the one thing that's worth noting is Tesla. All right, so Tesla just dropped a whole mess of things and one of them was this like robotic servant thing, robot assistant. I don't really, you know, I don't look at the details. A lot of people, my parents, all right, my parents are, are I'm, I'm horrible at technology. You can imagine how bad my older parents are, right? My parents were excited for that robot that they saw Elon put on TV. They were joking about actually having this robot serving in their house and like making food that they make and like, oh my gosh, it was hilarious listening to these, these people, talk, my parents talk about this robot. So there's a lot of hype around the Tesla robot. For sure, Serve has nothing to do with that Tesla robot. And if it does, oh my gosh, I don't even know that. And please let me know. But there is a robot hype now, all right? And hey, having the word robotics in your ticker name is a pretty good thing. Look, this video is not about it. I've been riding NNE hard. Today crushed it, right? NNE is doing nothing more than riding the, the nuclear wave, right? I know NNE has no contracts and nothing really significant, but hey, we're riding the wave, right? To me, I think that's kind of what's going on here with Serve. So um, I'm really liking the lower indicators down here too. MACD is positive. We have green over red. We have the same green over red on the RSI. It's a little flat. So I don't know if I'm gonna like look at this RSI as, as heavily, but again, I like the green over red and I like the 65 number. I think the biggest thing to me is volume down here, okay? When Serve came out, Serve made a crazy run, okay? It made a crazy, crazy run. A lot of people on the Discord did well because we were very, very ready for that thing, okay? Um, that brought with it an amazing amount of volume. And, and as I, I'm gonna get rid of this biggest one right there, okay? But all that volume makes your average go up. And, and from August, I think this one right here, is it this? Yeah, this is the August 1st candle, all right? From August, all the way through to, yeah, let's just say through today, there really were one, two, three breaks of that 50 day line before we made two today, today and Friday, right? We've replicated two thirds of the volume break. Oh my goodness, that mean, volume is king. Volume is queen for the ladies watching this and, and, and getting over just the average volume is a bare minimum requirement. When you're doing it only three times in a, in a three month span, and then all of a sudden doing it another two times over two days, ooh, something smells different. And all of a sudden that crazy outlier volume starts to come back to reality. And I'm starting to believe that we can make this reality happen, all right? We're also growing volume. You can see this volume was down here at 4.8. That one right there came up to 5.8. Friday was at 7.7, .7. today's at 8.8. .8. It's, not, it's not crazy, but that's some steady growth that seems sustainable. Listen, if we confirm we're over all the moving averages on the daily and we're attempting to do the same thing on the weekly, all right? Clearly, there's not a lot of information. I don't really know what this MACD line down means. The one thing I do know is it's positive. I don't know where the red line is yet, right? I need an average of nine of these to establish where the red, like I don't know if red is over green. I know two point something is positive. It's not negative point something, right? 
Not really a big fan of this negative RSI, but hey, again, it's still really early in the week. Let's see if the daily can kind of do some stuff and make this weekly candle look a lot stronger. But again, on the weekly, <clears throat> excuse me, nothing, 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 nothing green. Red, 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 green, 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 green is kind of starting to happen, right? So, oh man, if this can break 12.12, it'll actually start getting silly, but I think it's a little aggressive to think above 12.12. I guess I'll draw one more line. After that, it's gonna be this. I think that's too aggressive a target. Don't think 16-ish just yet. We're only a $10 stock, right? But hey, even going to 12 would be a nice 20% move, okay? So I'm, I'm liking the setup on the daily and the weekly. It's just a setup though. We need confirmation before we can feel much, much better, all right? Let me know your thoughts. Let me know your opinions. Even if you disagree, oh, I appreciate you so, so much.